Today we're going to show you how to install the D7 workshop and export your first D7 3D file. First, load up the software, install it on your system. This is standard installation procedure, so follow the on-screen prompts. Next, once you open the program, we're going to import your first 3D file. Open an STL file, hit the open button, and you'll see it appear on screen. Now we'll show you how to move around. First, just click and hold the right mouse button and move around to move around in 3D. Next, if you want to scroll, you can hold the middle mouse button and scroll and pan around. Finally, to select objects, left mouse button click and drag and you can select any item you wish. Now, we've got our logo highlighted. You can see you can move in three-dimensional space. So using the different arrow buttons, X, Y, Z, you can move left, right, up, down. Finally, click the cube in the middle, and you can move around in 3D space. If you move outside the 3D printing surface, you'll see it in red. Just click the center button and the on platform buttons, and you'll return to a printable surface area. Next, we'll show you how to add supports. So click the supports button in the top middle. Now, the best way to do it, add auto supports. It will auto generate supports for you. This is one of the big benefits of the D7 workshop. Now, any areas that require supports, it'll auto fill them for you. You can also manually add any additional supports you wish. Just click a surface of your model, click and drag, and you'll be able to manually add your own supports. Now, if you want to print off of the main surface, you can move your entire model up and again, hit the auto add supports and you'll generate all your supports needed. Next, we want to preview the file. We're going to take a look at slices. So there's a few ways you can do it. And um, clicking your slice button on the left side, you can see which area you're at. Click and drag along your model, and you can individually see which layer you're slicing. So it's a great way to preview what your printer is going to be doing once you hit the print button. Finally, once your model is ready to go, hit the export button, choose the CWS extension, which is what your 3D printer reads, and save it to an appropriate location. And you'll see it render line by line, layer by layer, all of your 3D printing supports as well as your main file. And we'll just quickly speed this up while it's going. And we'll quickly speed it up so you can see how your print is going to look. It'll generate some G code. Hit the OK button. You're done. Next, drop that file onto a USB stick and throw it onto your printer and follow your usual steps for printing.